What is this solid brass object with machining marks, screw in one end, ridge on the inside of curvature, and tear marks in brass? There are no marks to identify with, no writing, and age unknown, but obviously modern enough to have a screw. Found in the garden of the summer house using a metal detector, was buried at rocks a foot deep, alone with no other things found nearby. What is it? It looks like a brass fuse from an anti-aircraft shell, possibly a World War II German 10.5 cm Flak 38 fuse from a hollow charred shell. The ripping of brass demands some force, so an explosion makes the most sense. What is this green box on a pole? Locked with a padlock beside the road, they've been installing a bunch of them around my neighborhood. They tear up the edge of the road and the grass, and then look to concrete them in. They're about 5 feet high and have a door on one side that is locked with a padlock. They seem to be located near public parks. But that may just be a coincidence. Any ideas? It's a water sampling station. I test water from these, the same color green, and I have to open it with a key. We test temperature, pH, and chlorine. This is what it looks like inside if you're wondering. What is this wooden duck with metal bars pointing upwards? Found it at a local thrift shop. It is approximately 40 centimeters long. I was unable to find anything similar through an image search. Any ideas? It's a wood duck sewing caddy, from the 1960s. The thimble goes on the knob at the front, cotton reels on posts, pin cushion insert goes in the back of the duck, with other pins, needles, etc. stored below it. What is the purpose of this plastic cup or canister? Flat plastic sticks with a curved end are attached to the lid in colored sets of two. It's possible to take the sticks out of the lid. It's 10 centimeters plastic with multiple colors. The bottom shows a logo with the letter swap. I found it at a thrift store and bought it, just because I wanted to know what it is. I've shown it to multiple roommates and family, but no one seems to know what we're looking at. I can't even figure out what keywords would describe this. Please help. They're a set of side frames for glasses, ones you can change out depending on your outfit. It's why there are two of each. It's upside down in the first pick. The rubber should be on the bottom. What is this object I found on a beach in Yorkshire that has holes in it, and feels like a mix between stone and plastic? I picked it up it looked interesting enough to take home and ask about. Any insight would be appreciated, thank you in advance. I'm an archaeologist, it's a sea-worn Victorian-era bone toothbrush. The handle is made of animal bone, and the holes are where the bristles would go, normally pig or horse hair. Bristle toothbrushes like this were invented in China in the 1400s, but contrary to all that seems good and sane in this world, most Europeans weren't all that into toothbrushes, until the late 1700s to the early 1800s. What is this brass object, almost but not quite shaped like a classic genie's lamp with a dragon or serpent handle? There's a hole in one end and a spike, no markings, and measures 9.5 inches from handle to tip. It came in a lot of items purchased in an estate auction, and there wasn't anything else brass or similar in design to this in the lot. I haven't seen anything exactly like it. What is it? It's a genie oil lamp from the 1970s. The hole in the spike would be for the wick, and the saucer shape below the spike would serve to catch any oil dripping from a sputtering flame. What is this long cane-like object with a dull point on one end, and what appears to be a knob-like handle on the other? The handle screws off, and there is a sharp point on one end, maybe of French origin. It was given as a gift by a French foreign exchange student. It's about 4 feet long, the blunt tip is made of metal. The shaft and handle are made of wood. The sharp metal tip is also made of metal and quite sharp. Any ideas? It's a Basque maquila stick, a traditional Basque walking stick and is notable as both a practical tool and a cultural symbol of authority and strength. It consists of an engraved meddler wood, shaft cut to a length to suit its owner, generally either hip bone or sternum height. Maquilas are not just given away to people like cheese plates or embroidered towels as souvenirs. They are special. I'm sure the family of the student sent it with him to show their great appreciation for hosting their kid. 
What is this old tool with a rotary handle and brushes in the top holes? Aprox 40 centimeters in diameter. Inside the top holes we can see brushes. I guess something might have been clean once inserted in the holes when the handle is turned. Seen in a French castle among common tools dating from around 1700 to 1950. I guess this one dates from the early 20th century. What is it for? It's a 19th century knife sharpener and cleaner by George Kent. This knife cleaning machine was incredibly popular during the mid 19th and early 20th centuries before the invention of stainless steel. Since knives were exposed to acidic foods, they had to be cleaned and polished daily to keep them from rusting and becoming dull. What is this very tall metal pole with three wires extending from the top to aprox three-fourths down the pole? No clue at all what this is. It's located at the neighbor's residence, right next to the fence line. I've got no clue about an approximate height. It is in a residential area. Any ideas? It's a methane vent to dig sore pipes. It's old technology they are disappearing fast. So you're lucky you saw one. When I was a kid there was a two-meter goanna, that used to climb up it and bask in the sun all day. It was quite majestic. This was in Sydney, Australia in the 1980s. The wires are to keep the top part of the pipe in place when heavy birds sit on the cage on top. What is this wooden box with a glass window? approximately 8 inches tall and 6 inches wide. It has a brass handle on top and a wooden flap on a hinge covering the glass. Behind the glass is another wooden panel. The back has a large round hole and inside is a small shelf, which makes it a bit difficult to put items on the front display. Found at a local antique store. It appears to be a display case for something, but what? It is a marble secret ballot box, used for blackballing. It is prepared by first showing all voters there are no marbles behind the glass area, and closing the back panel, so no one can see the glass plate. Black and white marbles are placed in the base of the large hole in the front. A voter reaches into the hole and selects a white marble for approval or a black one for disapproval, and places it in the small hole where it enters the area behind the glass. The large hole keeps the voting private where others can't see which marble is cast. After all the voting is complete, the box is turned around, so the back is facing all voters, and the wood panel is open to expose the marbles behind the glass, and votes are tallied. How do I know all this? Because a club I belong to, still uses one regularly. The process has worked flawlessly for more than 80 years. What are these two blown glass jars? Probably about 1 centimeter in thickness, heavy about 350 grams each, and 6 to 8 centimeters high. They are from Italy and were with carriage-related stuff, and about 50 to 100 years old. One is translucent, the other one is very dark and almost opaque. The inside of the neck is a bit irregular, so not very suitable for a cork. And they really don't seem like flasks. Blown glass flasks are much thinner and lighter. Any ideas? Please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.